Hi, thanks for being a part of my channel where I talk about typography, graphic design, and productivity. I am Sky Blue Jenny, I am a working designer, and today I'll be showing you how to use the Copper Plate Calligraphy Worksheet. Now this worksheet is available for download, free for you to print at home at skyblue.link slash copperplate calligraphy worksheet and that link is also available in the description and I'm going to show you how to use this so what you're going to need is anything anything that you have on hand uh, all of these techniques are going to be applicable no matter what you're using but the worksheet will be the best way to learn because there are guides there and also helpful tips on how to write your letter forms as you continue to practice so Let's go. All right, so you can use any any sort of writing instrument with this. You can use a ballpoint pen. You can use a pencil. If you're looking to achieve a high amount of contrast with your strokes, so something that makes it thick versus thin, I would use a pen or felt marker that has some flex to it. And the way that you can test it out is by add a lot of pressure and then you'll see the thick and then it goes thin. So there should be very, very good variation between adding pressure and no pressure. Um, whereas a ballpoint pen, if I put heavy stroke going down, if I add a lot of pressure, it's the same as going up. Um, I think it's just a lot of like playing with what what your tools can do. So this one, this one's pretty nice. Very, very nice. Um, very soft um, variation there. Um, there are some ones that might be a little bit too big, like this Tombow. Oh, this has shown a lot of love. It has really thick thicks and very thin strokes, but the with the stroke, it's kind of, it might be a little bit harder to control just because this marker is a little bit bigger. It has a larger, larger brush size. Um, so I would recommend um, starting off small. You can even just use a pencil just to like get yourself into it. All right, so I got all my my equipment set up. I got my I have my pen. But for the second page, this is where you're going to start your basic strokes. This is where you're going to be acquainted with your pen. All right, so to use this worksheet. Um, I have a couple tips for you that you can take a look at while you're doing it, but basically it is going to be, um, you're just going to start off with a bunch of thick strokes, and your goal for these is doing constant pressure all the way down following these slant lines. So I started off some gray ones here for you, so you can kind of give a, get a sense of what that should look like. Um, you can start by just tracing these. And then all of us, you you kind of have to just go go for it. Just go for it, and you're just gonna keep going. Just gonna do a thin upstroke. Going to be an underturned stroke, so it's gonna go heavy stroke and then going back up. This one is going to be an overturned stroke, so you're going light pressure up and then heavy pressure down. This one is a compound curve. You're just gonna go light going up. Heavy going down, like going up, so it's kind of like a backwards S. For this one, this is the oval, and I, I tend to like starting at like 1, 1.30, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and then I go around. Um, a lot of other people tend to do like from midnight going the other way, so I like to start from that section and then I go counterclockwise, so, and then I go up, and then I add pressure, relieving pressure, and then I come back around. The trick with these is that you're going to be um, relieving pressure before you get back up. So try to keep these pretty light. You're only adding pressure at the middle of the stroke. All right, so these are ascending stem loops. And then you go back up and around and then you add pressure. This last one is the descending stem loops. You're gonna start with heavy and consistent pressure all the way down until the second descender line. And then you're gonna come back around, relieving pressure and back until you hit the baseline. So these are all the basic strokes that are in calligraphy. If you nail these, you will nail these, all these letters. Um, so you're going to trace the letters um, in the order and 
wherever there's light, wherever you have a thin line, that's going to be light pressure. And wherever you have a thick line, you add pressure. So you don't add any pressure going up into the stroke. Come on, there you go. And then from here, I like to start in here and then I go light and then add pressure going down and then go back up. Whenever you're doing something that's parallel to this line, that's when you do a heavy stroke. So trace all of these in the order. That's what those numbers are for. And you're gonna go off and jump out of the next and do it on your own and keep going. So those are the different ways that I like to use, that I've designed this copper plate calligraphy worksheet. Uh, so if you enjoy it, try to do this multiple times. I recommend doing um, this page two multiple times. The basic strokes are going to be your guiding light in terms of improving all of your letter forms and making them look way better. Um, I also would encourage you to use page 10 frequently. Um, this page is just meant for you to continue to print out and practice for hours and hours on end. And remember, you don't need a special tool or anything important or unique to get started on this. You can use a pencil. Um, it's just a way to form your muscle memory and to get you used to creating letter forms in a new way. Um, anything that you do can help you move forward through everything. And I am really grateful that you are a part of my channel and that you're here. If you have any work that you'd like me to see, uh, uh, you can tag me on Instagram at SkyBlueJenny. And feel free to let me know any questions that you might have. If you have any, if, <laughs> if this video provided you any value, um, let me know by liking to this video. If you'd like to see more about typography and graphic design, you can subscribe. And as always, continue to have, take care, have fun, and enjoy have, you know, experimenting with new ways of drawing letters and trying new things. Until next time, thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys next time. <laughs>